The dogs vary in all sorts of interesting traits, colors, hair textures, sizes, behaviors that are interesting and useful to humans. DNA studies suggest that all those different modern dog breeds are uh, derived from wolves. So wolves have lived near humans for thousands of years. In the earliest archaeological evidence of domesticated uh, forms of wolves or dogs is found about 10,000 years ago in human settlements. At that time, the skeletons of domesticated dogs looked fairly uniform and similar to wolves. By the time of the Egyptians, you can see these specialized breeds being developed that have long limbs and long muzzles. That uh, breed actually still lives today in an ancient breed called the Saluki. Other breeds have been developed for hunting, retrieving, herding animals. Pointers and retrievers and sheepdogs are great examples of taking ancestral uh, tracking and hunting behaviors that were present uh, in wolves and turning them in to selected behaviors that are useful for humans. So how is it possible to take an ancestral animal and turn it into this broad diversity of different uh, forms? Let's actually uh, listen to a couple of human dog breeders describe how they look at an animal and how they decide what it is they want to do. I think that his neck is a little bit too short. He's got great strength in the neck, but I'd like to have it just a smidgen longer. Um, I also would like to have a little more muscle definition in the rear. We really enjoy the ability to take the gene pool and use it like paints. It's, it's our art. This is my art. I made this beautiful dog that I enjoy. I made her. I chose her sire and her dam. I chose several generations to make this beautiful dog. I'm very proud of her.